The Milford Mill complex was demolished in 1964, so is gradually fading from public memory. But we still have photography, and that has helped Evans Vittori create a 3D model of the site, funded by the Great Place Scheme. It allows us to move around and appreciate the old site more fully. We start at the northeast side from the river bridge. It gives us a good view from across the water of the mill site with the elevated gangway taking cotton from the mills over the road to the bleaching and dye works on the right hand side of the road. Moving in closer we can see the gangway is supported on iron or steel stilts as it crosses the mill leet. Beneath it sluice gates controlled the water flow to the water wheels and from 1908 the turbines that powered the mill. We move around now to the river's edge and can see the mill's iron framed east wing of 1805-06 is built right up to the water. Once we've passed the east wing, a long single storey block houses two of the water wheels, later turbines, then the mechanics workshops with plenty of light from windows looking out over the river and skylights in the roof. Behind it is what was the oldest mill on site thought to date from 1780. At the end of the mechanics workshops we turn to the river footbridge designed by William Strutt. It was a very early suspension bridge opened in 1826 the same year Thomas Telford completed the Menai Bridge, the world's first major suspension bridge. It was demolished in 1946 and a new bridge built in 1982. On the far bank was the corn mill, operated by the Fletcher brothers in the early 20th century. Passing over the bridge, we end on a view of the mills from the south, including some auxiliary buildings greyed out as no photography exists to provide detail. Continue your look around the Milford Mills, as well as the Belper Mills before 1898 and in 1921, in the other videos within this series.